someone has been removed. Um, <laughs> if anyone uh, has been removed, if, if any of your friends has been removed, uh, please invite them to check in. Okay, I will uh, continue my presentation. So, what is the animal sales culture? The animal sales culture is a process of culturing uh, and growing and maintaining the uh, human cells, animal cells, or insect cells under the in vitro um, control environment for simulate the in vivo system. And the in vitro control environment that uh, we talk about is consists of the sales culture media, the sales culture condition, and the sterile condition. For the cell culture media is um, being composed with the natural media and artificial media, which we will give. I will give a detail in the later slide. And for the cell culture condition, it consists of the pH, our uh, osmolarity of the cells, temperature, and the carbon dioxide level. Um, and the last one, the sterile condition, which is uh, uh, very important. Uh, sorry, someone joy very important for uh, the for the culture system because um, the cells culture um, when we uh, work with cell culture we took the cells from the living body of the animal and then we culture the cell in the vitro system so it needs the sterilized um, sterile area the clean area and it the person who work with the sales culture need uh, to have uh, aesthetic techniques. And here is the picture uh, of the control development that I talk about. Um, here is the first. We normally uh, we normally culture the cell in the first with T first or T can first, and or some someone uh, some. Uh, some people may use the petri dish to culture the cells, and here is their culture media. And here is the um, carbon dioxide incubator, uh, which we can keep the cells in this incubator. And here is the biosafety cabinet, uh, which we normally um, work or culture the cell inside this cabinet because it provides us a, a, set, a sterile area. Mm -hmm. And why we need to learn animal cell culture? Why do our pharmacists need to learn about the animal cell culture techniques? Is it's because the animal cell culture uh, animal or animal cell culture techniques has been used in the uh, drug development, and it has been used for the um, as a platform for the biological product production, and uh, based on the data from the US FDA, around 34% uh, of the new duck is the biological ducks products. And the animal cell culture also can be used as a therapeutic platform, uh, which is including the gene therapy, stem cell therapy, or regenerative medicines, or a precision medicine. And uh, Animal cell culture also can be used as the clinical relevance models because in the cells, uh, animal cell culture, we, cu we culture the cells. It provides us a, a, a basic of the human body, I mean, uh, the, the basic unit of human body. So we can study the pharmacokinetic or pharmacodynamic uh, research uh, using the animal cell culture. And animal cell culture has been intensively used in the toxicity testing. Because um, as you might learn about the, uh, I don't know, maybe you learn about the duct development class or before, because um, for the toxicity testing, we normally uh, test the toxicity of the new duct with the cell culture before uh, test in the uh, animal cell, uh, animal model or in clinical time. So the animal cell culture is a basic step for the duct development. And with this, uh, um, 
with the various application of the animal sense culture. So it has been um, intense, intensively used and studied, uh, not only for pharmacology, and it also has been used for study the cell biology, molecular biology, or biotechnology, pharmacology, immunology, and oncology, and so on. So um, it has the various benefits if we learn about the animal cells culture. Because it, we, as a pharmacist, we will, um, after we graduate from the pharmacy school, okay, we, we will have faced, uh, we will work with the other uh, healthcare professional or other scientists. So learning about the animal cells culture will give us a basic idea and know uh, how the technology has been improved and has been used or know how the biological uh, product, uh, how it uh, be created by the animal cells culture. And this slide show you how, um, not how, this slide show you uh, how many of the biological product has been approved each year from the US FDA. And the orange color, orange color show the total of the duct approved and for the biological product is shown in the uh it's what show in the blue color here and as you can see it's around uh one uh one two third or one two fourth of the uh, total duct approved per year so it is important to learn animal cells culture right and here is the examples picture of the animal cells um as you can see in the left side of the slide, it shows the African uh, kidney monkey cells or the viral cells, which we can use this cell for the vaccine production. And here in the uh, the middle uh, of the slide, it shows the viral cephaloids. Uh, the cephaloid is the form of the cell that we can culture, and this can be used in the toxicity testing. And we will discuss more about this in the later slide. So from now we know about um, how the animal cells culture is important or how it can be used in the um, pharmaceutical and the healthcare system, right? So uh, I need to give you, um, I will give you some uh, example of how this technology has been developed. So the first person that uh, has been uh, developed the animal cells culture techniques uh, is the the scientist who named uh, Lost Harrison. He successful, successfully uh, cultured the frog embryo nerve fiber in the uh, in the frost. He is the first one that cultured the uh, embryo fiber. And the next one is the these three scientists, they developed uh, they infect the polio virus into the human embryo cells and they can culture the virus in the cells. And the next one is that um, some the Otto Gay, which is the uh, medical doctor, uh, he, he took the cells from, the, uh, uh, from his patient uh, which is the cancer cells, and then he grow the cells in the lab. And he, he noticed that these cells uh, has grow uh, continuously, and it, it doesn't die. So it means that this cell is import, uh, immo, uh, immortal cells. And so the, uh, he published and he sent this cell into other lab, and uh, all uh, he sent this cell into other lab around the world, and all scientists also culture these cells, and this cell is not die by the, by itself. So it immortal. It can regenerate. It can propagate uh, more and more. So he called this cell is a HeLa cell line, and the name of the uh, the technical term of the cell line is that the cells that has been uh, used and uh, subculture, which we will uh, discuss about this later. But I just want to uh, uh, mention to all of you guys that um, this, the HeLa cells is the, the first immortal cells that uh, 
we that scientists had created mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and with the immortal cells and with the ability of the viral infection into the cell so uh scientists has created the polio virus vaccines based on the monkey kidney tissue i mean it's based on the uh, the monkey kidney cells so here is the mm -hmm. culture area that uh, scientists culture the uh, polio virus in the cells and they use that virus as a vaccine for uh, prevent the polio infection and next after the polio virus has been created um the company named genetic had our uh, our uh, create the first recombinant protein culture on the cell uh, CHO cells also. Uh, the protein is named uh, recombinant tissue plasmogen activator. And after the creation of the protein, the recombinant protein by the cells culture, um, some uh, three medical doctors has been uh, used the cell culture as a platform to uh, to uh, create a gene therapy in 1990. So the uh, cell culture has been developed and has been used in both the pharmaceutical and in both the um, healthcare uh, system. And the next one is that um, some scientists also use the somatic cells, which is the, uh, the the cells from the um, membrane cells and they can uh, cloning the animals from the cells. Here it is the dolly chip. Uh, maybe some of you may heard about this chip, uh, chip before. It uh, has been cloned by the somatic cells. And in 2009, uh, scientists also create the organoid from the stem cells. The term organoid is uh, called the uh, in Thai is called Avayavatiam, no? organoid. It can be created by the stem cells. So uh, the uh, this scientist uh, Eric is this scientist can create the organoid from the stem cells, and it has been. Uh, intensively research uh, for the regenerative medicines. As you can see in the left side of the slide, here is the, uh, you might notice that it has the heart, it has a beat. It is the heart organoids and it can uh, beat by themselves in the in vitro system, in the fast, yeah. And for the left, for the life size, um, scientists also can create the brain organoid, which is the um, small TM. And it's, this brain can generate the eyes, the back color, the eye, back color is the eye, two eyes from the brain. So I think um, based on this technology, the organoid will, uh, will mainly, uh, will have in the uh, I think in the next few years, the regenerative medicines will be uh, more advanced and the organoid or the avayavatiam will be used intensively in the healthcare system. So, here we, uh, we know that um, how the animal uh, cell culture has been created. And this slide, I will show you the type of the animal cell culture because um, uh, after we know that uh, animal cell culture has been uh, the first the first time that the, the first time scientists has created the animal cell culture, they took the the organ from the uh, living animal and then passed into the uh, frost and culture the organ into the frost, and then they uh, uh, then develop then, then they develop the method to culture the uh, the cells and here slide, uh, and here in this slide uh, is uh, composed the four types of animal cells culture including the organ culture primary culture 
the cell line and the organotypic culture, which I will um, discuss in each type, and I will show you how it's developed and uh, how it linked to each other. So let's start with the first type of the cell culture, which is the organ culture here. And as I mentioned earlier, um, the first science base has been uh, created the animal cells culture by using the, they cut the organ of, this, uh, of the animal and they paste the organ into the frost here. So the whole organ can be cultured in, uh, on the plate. And this figure show the, uh, the kid, uh, kidney from the rat embryo and the scientists press the kidney into uh, on the plate. Uh, with the organ culture, um, it provides the same gene expression and the structure, uh, the, the same, same gene expression and same structure of the, uh, of the cells uh, compared to the in vivo system because we, we collect the whole organ from the animal and we place it into the plate. So, it does not have the gene di uh, differentiate, and that's uh, the structure is uh, similar to the in vivo system. So we can use the uh, organ culture to test the organ function, right? Because the organ can be cultured, but um, but can you click harder? Oh, okay, okay, sorry. Okay. So, um, this organ cultures we can use this organ to test the function, organ function, or test the duct, duct that uh, has effect on the organ. However, the organ culture has the limit lifespan, uh, and this cult this culture type we cannot propagate the organ. It means that. Uh, once we want to do the experiment, we need to obtain the organ from the living animals uh, every time. So it's more expensive and it's not convenient for scientists or for uh, the researcher to work with the um, with the uh, taste or with the organ culture. So uh, the next sign, the next uh, method on the necktie of the animal cells culture has been created to uh, solve this problem. Here is a primary cell culture. And as I mentioned earlier, the, cult, the organ culture, we collect the, uh, the organ and place it into the plate, right? So, so that um, with the whole organ culture, we cannot propagate and uh, it lies back its limit. Uh, so uh, with this, uh, primary culture, the scientist has uh, obtained the organ, but instead of put the whole organ into the plate, they cut the organ into the small piece of the tissue, and they paste the tissue uh, onto the plate. The, uh, and with the tissue that paste into the, the plate, we uh, code with the ECM, which is the uh, extracellular matrix. Uh, for example, it's collagen or the pol polar array scenes. Here, this uh, ECM coated surface will uh, um, enhance the cells from the tissue uh, to attach to attach to the surface of the face of the of the fast sorry. Um, in the left figure you will see the back color here is the tissue that were cut and that were placed uh, onto the plate. And you can see the cells that attach to the frost here, the surface of the frost, and it will propagate and it will grow um, onto the surface of the, of the frost. And once we remove the tissue, we will get the, uh, the monolayer primary cells. Yeah. Uh, why I call it monolayer is because the one side of the cell is attached to the frost and the one side of the cell is uh, um, exposed to the culture media. So um, it will uh, 
is will grow in the monolayer manner. And the property of the primary cells, it share a similar gene expression with the in vivo because um, we obtain the cell from the uh, tissue, right? But um, it will lose the uh, characteristics of the structure, in vivo structure, because um, the in vivo structure, the cell is attached to each other, it's like a 3D, 3D structure. But when we culture in the primary culture, the cell attached to the fat, so um, it, it will grow in the 2D layer as a monolayer or 2D layer, so it will uh, lose the 3D archi architecture of the in vivo. And, but we will talk about the 3D layer and 2D layer later on the architecture of the cells. So uh, the first one is if this cell shares the gene, the similar gene expression with in vivo, so it can be used in the clinically relevant model, and it can be used to create a cell line. However, this cell has the limit lifespan, and it with the limit lifespan, it um, one is grow uh, into a uh, full of the surface of the fast it needs to be subculture or divided into another fast. And before I uh, go to the subculture process, I would like all of you to know about um, how these cells has been collected. Um, the primary cells have been collected by T, uh, by, by three methods. The first one is the five di dissection that I mentioned earlier. And the second one is the mechanical disaggregation, and uh, the last one is the asymptotic disaggregation. For the me mechanical disaggregation, we can use the silent to uh, push the cells and use the force to suspend the cell into the single cells and let the cell uh, grow into the fast at the model layer. But for the enzymatic disaggregation, we can use the tipsin or collagenase, which is the enzymes that can disaggregate the, the, the cells and the cell will be, uh, after it has been disaggregated from the tissue, right? It will be uh, dispersed into the uh, culture media and it will grow in the monolayer as well as the me mechanical and fire dissection. So of this will go in the monolayer uh, manner and after it grow full, uh, fully confluent or fully, uh, after it go, after it cover fully of the surface of the fast, so we need to divide the cell into the another plate because if we don't divide, uh, if we don't divide the cells or subculture the cells, mm -hmm. the cell will die inside the plate because um, mm -hmm. it has no area to go. So um, once we sub passes or subculture the cells into another plate, this cell will be called at the cell line or the uh, secondary cells culture. So um, after uh, so after we got the primary cells, we grow them into the fast, and uh, after it grow uh, fully grow into the fast and it has no area to, to expand, so we need to subculture the cells into another fast, and that cell we call a cell line or animal cell line. Okay. So and the uh, the property of the cell line is that it has been subcultured from the primary cells, and the genetic of the cell line can can be uh, alterate because it has been subcultured. It means the cell has the uh, uh, it has been subculture. Sometimes it can uh, the genetic maybe uh, differentiate from the first uh, first culture, right? And this cell line has been intens intensively used because it has a longer lifespan compared to the primary cell. So um, it has been uh, the standard protocol has been created uh, more and more for the cell line culture. And the cell line provide a homogeneous culture 
um, because uh, with the sales line, uh, after we got the standard protocol, so um, we can culture this sales uh, more homogeneously, and we don't need to obtain uh, to obtain the sale from the from the living animal. We we can uh, sub culture, and we can uh, obtain the sale from another person or another uh, culture or the previous culture, previous fast yeah. So um, it provides us a homogeneous culture. However, because this sales line has been subculture from the primary sales culture, and if you subculture the sale, the genetic may be different. So um, it provides a lower accuracy, uh, translation research result from the laboratory to clinic um, compared to the primary sales. Can you understand this? It means that for the primary cells, as I mentioned, it has the similar genetic compared to the um, animal cells in the body, in the living body. But for the cell line, we subculture the cells from the primary cells. And if we grow them more and grow them more, so we need to subculture more and subculture more. So the, 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 um, the higher, the, the, time that you subculture, the time of your culture, this sales line, um, the, it may be have the genetic alteration, so it can reduce the accuracy of the research result, okay? And for the application of the sales line, it has, it can, it's mostly used to uh, uh, produce a biological product because um, this sales line can be propagated more and more. So we, we don't need to um, obtain this sales line from the living body of animal. So we can buy this sales line from the stock. We can buy this sales line from the, uh, the industry that um, provide the sales line stock. So we can use this sales line in the biological production. And because it has the standard protocol and homogeneous culture, so it supports uh, for the biological production. And this cell light uh, can be used in the clinically relevant model if the genetic alteration is not um, affect or is not um, affect the outcome of the test. For example, if you want to measure the pharmacokinetic, the genetic alteration of the cell uh, need to um, done, uh, it, it need to be uh, don't affect to the pharmacokinetic property. Okay. Okay. So uh, this figure I show the monolayer melanoma cells that culture into the fast. As you can see, the cells attached to the fast. One side of the cell attached to the fast, and one side is um, exposed to the culture media. So the cell line also has been uh, cultured in the monolayer cells. Okay, and um, before we go to another uh, aspect, I would like to uh, show you how, what is the difference between the cell line and cell stain. Because um, if you work with the cell line, um, maybe you will notice that uh, some, someone or some person will uh, uh, address uh, If you turn fact, cell line with some sub, uh, to create uh, some specific purpose cell line. Um, here, as you can see, here is all the cell line, but the uh, the middle of the page here is, has the uh, different color of the, from the other cells. So um, we can collect these cells and culture these cells. And we can use this cell for the specific purpose. So uh, and this cell will be called as a cell stain. So it means that the cell stain is the subpopulation of the cell line that uh, mean to use for the specific purpose. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and one of you might be uh, curious that um, what is the subculture and maybe you, I, I, and why do we need to do the subculture after, after the cell has been 
grow uh, fully to the fast. Um, so in this slide, I will show the growth cycle of the sales culture and why do we need to do the subculture or sub process. As, as I mentioned earlier, um, after the sales has been uh, paid, in, uh, had been seed, the seed, it means that we put the sale into the pit. And after the sale has been seed into the pit, um, the sales will, the first time the sales are, uh, has been put into the face, the, the pit or the culture frost or culture container, um, the sale will not familiar with that container. So the sale will uh, become a lack, lack phase. It means that the sale has a low metabolism and low uh, growth phase. But after it familiar with the the culture container, the sale will become a log phase. With this log phase, it can uh, propagate. It can proliferate with the doubling time. It means that um, you culture from the same time, but you can get the uh, two time higher of the sale concentration. Mm -hmm. We call it the log phase. And after the sales grow fully, uh, cover, cover the plate so it has no area to grow. So the sale uh, will uh, go to the plateau phase, which is a saturation plate. And at this point, if we don't subculture, um, the sale will die. So we need to subculture by either use the uh, enzyme, which is tapsin, or the scalper which we can scrap the cells from the fast and divide it into another plate. Mm -hmm. And the passage number is referred to the lifespan of the cells. It means that if the passage number is high, the, the, it means the cell uh, has been subcultured for too long. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this slide show the, the figure of the, um, the cell in each phase. It here is show the sale in the lag phase. Here it show the sale in the log phase, which uh, the 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 sales concentration is higher from the log phase, uh, lag phase, right? And the last one, the sale is more fully in the prior phase. So we need to subculture uh, before it going before it die out. And the sales culture composed with two types including the finished cell line and continuous cell line. The finished cell line has the limit cell structure, a lifespan, and the continuous cell line has the more immortal, um, more lifespan. It's called immortal cells, sorry. Um, it means that it cannot die by themselves. It has high cell proliferation, and it's easy to propagate and maintain compared to the finished cell line. And here the example of the continuous cell lines that we can use in the biological production of vaccine or recombinant protein or the clinical relevant models here. Oh, sorry. Um, sorry. Um, uh, okay, so the last one is the organic Organotypic culture, um, as I mentioned earlier, the organotypic culture is called the Awayewa Tiams. This cell, this culture has been created by the core culture uh, of the two different, two or more different cell type in the low adherent, uh, low, low adherent surface. Uh, with this surface, the cell will not attach to the past. It will grow and attach to themselves just like the in vivo system. So with the organic, organotypic culture, um, we can recreate the in vivo organ light architecture, TD uh, structure, and it can mimic the in vivo environment. And because it mimics the in vivo environment, so it provides a high translation research from laboratory to clinic compared to the um, compared to the cell line, okay? And also it can be used in the precision medicines, tissue regeneration, and the clinical relevant model. And as I mentioned before, um, the cell 
from the primary cells or the cell line, we culture them in the 2D layer or the mono layer. It means that the cell attached to the fast um, is not attached to each other. So uh, we call this uh, type of culture is a 2D cells or 2D layer. And the, the 2D cell can be created by um, the anchorage dependent cells. And what I mean about the anchorage dependent cell is mean that um, the, the most organ cells except, except the blood cells, uh, this type of the cells uh, need the anchorage or the surface to attach. Otherwise, it will die if we not uh, if that cell not attached to the some surface. For example, um, um, let me mention that yeah, the living the liver cells or the brain cells, the brain need to attach to uh, each other cell, right? To uh, uh, in 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 our body, the cells uh, will attach to each other to. Uh, to uh, to form a tissue or the organ. So we call that uh, cells. Uh, we call that cell is a uh, anchorage dependent cells. It means that it needs something to uh, attach to be survive. So the two D cells, uh, those those anchorage dependent cells will attach to the fat mm -hmm, in order to survive. But for T D cells culture the those the same cells has been uh, uh, culture into the uh, the fast that has low attention surface so it it will not attach to the fast it will attach to each other cells and form the 3d structure I will show you in the next slide um, and for the last one the 3d cells of the anchorage independent cells the anchorage independent cell uh, is mean the cell that did not uh, need the at the, the anchorage independent cell is mean the cell that did not need uh, something or some surface to be uh, to be uh, to attach to be survive. Uh, for example, the blood cell in our body, blood cell or immune cell, it doesn't need uh, any surface to attach. Right? It can uh, grow. It can uh, reflects by themselves in the bloodstream. So um, the anchorage independent cell don't need anything or, or any surface to be uh, to attach and to be survive. But the anchorage dependent cell needs the surface to attach and to survive. And here the 2D monorayer, the anchorage dependent cells attach to the surface with the collagen or the um, the polymer which is the arisine so which uh, if we culture the cell in the 2d monorayer the cell will lose the 3d structure and it will lose the cell to cell interaction because the cell is attached to the fast it's not attached to uh, each cells it's, uh, it, it's not attached to the other cells so it will have the lower translation research compared to the 3d cells culture and here is the 3D cells culture. As you can see, the 3D cells, the cell attached to uh, each, the cell attached to the dem to uh, each cell is attached to uh, the dem the cell themselves. It's attached to each other, so it will provide the cell to cell interaction, and it contain the in vivo 3D structure. Just um, it's like look like at the in vivo system. So it promotes the cell-to-matic interaction, cell-to-cell -cell interaction. The cell-to-matic interaction is mean that if we culture this in the collagen or um, culture in the uh, collagen, uh, the the collagen it will promote the cell, uh, the interaction of cell to the collagen more than the two D cells. And with the three D cells, it promotes the translation research. Uh, higher compared to the 2D cells because it has the in vivo 3D structure and the cell to cell interaction higher than the uh, 2D cells. Okay, so the last, uh, oh, okay, sorry. Um, the 3D cells can compose with the 
two types, um, including the histo histotypics. Um, uh, it, the, this type is mean that we culture the single cell type into the 3D form. And the organotypic culture is one form of the 3D cells. Um, and the organotypic culture, we culture two or more cell type uh, into the fast, so it will generate the organ. Mm -hmm. Just like the uh, organ in our body. And here the 3D cell, the last one, here is the blood cells. So we can culture the uncollege independent cells. Um, for example, the blood cells. Uh, and we call these cell type as uh, suspension cells because it don't need the surface to attach. Mm -hmm. And some of the encouraged dependent cell, and some of the encouraged dependent cells can be adapted into the suspension cell also. Uh, for example, a viral cells or HEC 290 cell. Uh, a viral cell is a, a kidney cells and HEC 290 is a embryonic kidney cells. These two cell types can be adapted to grow into the suspension, um, suspension uh, culture. And it's because, uh, uh, and because, because it can grow and it can adapt into the suspension culture. So it's mostly used to uh, create uh, and mostly used to uh, do a biological product production. Here, yeah, these two cells. And the next one is the cell culture media. The cell culture media is contained about um, three types, including the first one in the natural media, which is the serum or the plasma cord. This cell type, uh, this media, um, we can obtain from the uh, animal. And the artificial media is a uh, uh, serum free media or uh, which composed with the DMEM, APMI, or MEM. This type of the artificial media we can uh, construct or we can uh, compose uh, by our cells so it don't need the animal. We don't need to kill animal to obtain the artificial media. And the uh, uh, complete media is uh, media, artificial media that um, supply with the serum to promote the cell growth. Here in the natural media, uh, I will show you the, the, the picture of the natural media here. It, uh, it's my cause because it needs to attach, uh, extract from the uh, animal. Mm -hmm. And it used as a supplement for the enhanced cell survival. And for the artificial media, uh, it has been used um, as a major media for the sales culture, and and because it contain no uh, contain no protein, so it will have no contaminate from the biological product. So it will uh, intense it will intensively use in the um, biological production because it no protein con contamination. So after uh, if we uh, produce some vaccine or some biological product, it, uh, the proliferation will be more easier if we use the artificial media, uh, such as the serum free media. Oh, sorry. Okay, and the complete media is the combination of the artificial media and serum media. Uh, it can save cost and it can promote the cell growth and it can be used uh, for the general, general purpose animal cell culture. And it can be supplied with the antimyotic or antimicrotic, um, uh, which is the, uh, the antifungal duct mm -hmm, to uh, promote the sterilized, sterilized condition of the cells. And um, once we uh, know about the type of the cell culture, we know about the uh, culture media, and we need to know how to monitoring the cell growth in the the in vivo environment. Oh, sorry, in vitro environment. Mm -hmm. And here the condition that mostly used for the um uh for the cells 
grow, growing in the uh, in the in vitro system. Mm -hmm. And what I would like to uh, mention is that the carbon dioxide and the uh, sodium bicarb and the phenolase system, this system, uh, carbon dioxide and sodium bicarb can control the pH system of the cells because carbon dioxide, when it's dissolved in the water, it can uh, generate the protons and the sodium bicarb. When it's dissolved in the water, it can generate the hydroxyl ion. So um, this carbon dioxide level and the sodium bicarb is uh, fundamental for the pH control of the cells culture. And we use the phenolase in the media for the pH indicator in the cells culture. And we can monitoring the cells um, uh, behavior if the pH is too low. The, the, normal, the normal pH for the cell culture is the physiological pH, which is the 7.4, right? But if it's too low, we need to change the media. Or if it's too high, we need to check the carbon, uh, the carbon dioxide level. So uh, the last one of this uh, lecture is the cell culture application, uh, which um, mostly com composed with the biological product uh, production and the therapeutic platform and the clinically relevant model. For the biological products composed with the vaccine, um, recombinant protein, and monoclonal antibody production. And the cell culture can be used for the production of the plasmid uh, or the viral replication of, uh, for the vaccine production. And um, as I mentioned earlier, the cells are uh, composed with the, with the anchorage, uh, anchorage dependent cells and anchorage independent cells, right? And the anchorage dependent cells, if we use the anchorage dependent cells or adherent cells, Adherent is mean that the cells is attached to the surface. Um, it will uh, use the higher of the space for for the culture. I mean, for the bioreactor for for the vaccine production or biological product production. So, so for the biological product production, we intensively use the suspension adapt cells or the suspension cell for uh, space saving. Mm -hmm. And we use the serum free media to prevent the uh, protein contamination and reduce the cost of the purification um, of the product, uh -huh. which is I um, uh, I some I writing the summary in this slide here. You can read it again. Okay, so. The example of the cell line that used in the vaccine production is the viral cells, and it's used in the inactivated to uh, create the inactivated uh, COVID nineteen so yeah, the Sinovac that uh, in we use nowadays. And HEC two ninety cells, which is the embryonic kidney cells, has been used in the viral vector, uh, SA, uh, AstraZeneca vaccine production, and the CHO cells has been used in the hepatitis B supplement vaccine viral cells and SF9 insect cells has been used to create the MER uh, vaccine. And MDCK is the canin or a dog cells that has been used to create the influenza virus vaccine. This is an example, so you don't, you don't need to remember all this, um, but just uh, understand that uh, we need the suspension cells or suspension adapted cell to uh, create the, or to um, uh, to produce the biological products. Mm -hmm. And yes, I, I uh, forget to mention that the cell line or the continuous cell line uh, need to be used in the biological, biological product because it promotes the high proliferation rate and it not die because the uh, the immortal cell is not die, right? Or the continuous cell line is not die. So um, it uh, promotes high proliferation rate. And if we use the suspension, it will give us a space saving. 
and for the therapeutic platform um the stem cell or gene therapy will be um the next uh, next lecture ajan uh, ajan charawan will talk about this so i will um, mention about the patient medicine or regenerative medicines by using the organoids or the avayavatiam um this culture type can be used in the regenerative medicines or patient medicines the patient medicine is that you um, you obtain the <coughs> the cells from for example if the cancer patient you can obtain the cancer cells and culture them in the organoid and then you can <coughs> evaluate the dark response and use that dark response in uh, in the clinic mm -hmm. i mean uh, use the dark combination that you uh, earlier yet you earlier test the duct in the organoid or in the in vitro system and then the uh, physicians uh, can decide that okay this duct combination uh, has um, mostly um, active or effective for the patient so uh, we can uh, select more precisely medicine for the patient and the last one is the clinically relevant models um, as mentioned earlier the all, all this um all culture can be used for the pkpd duct testing sera study magra study and the toxicity toxicity testing and the efficacy testing mm -hmm. so the conclusion of this presentation or this lecture um the sales sales culture uh provide a physiological condition and for uh, the cell line, the benefit of the immune cell culture, it provides a physiological condition and it provides a large scale cell uh, culture system. So we can use this large scale to produce more biological product. And it provides a consistency of the results. <clears throat> and it has a large variety of the applications. However, it has the drawback which is uh, it, it can be costly if we uh, because uh, the cell culture when we when we do, do when we do the cell culture it needs um, various of the equipment and various of the techniques that we need to uh, use for culture of the cells um, it needs the expertise for example the person who work with the culture animal cell culture need the aseptic techniques mm -hmm. and if we got the contamination this we need to uh, to throw the cell in, in uh, we cannot use the 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 cell with contamination so it will costly if we have the contamination mm -hmm. when we culture the cells mm -hmm. so um, this is the summary of uh, of the uh, of my lecture animal cells culture okay so i have, have anyone of have any one of you has the question you can ask me อ่าโอเคสิน้องสามีคําถามมั้ยครับเมื่อกี้อาจารย์จะพูดเร็ววันนี้ <coughs> ยังไม่มีคําถามเนาะโอเคถ้าใครสงสัยตรงไหนถามอ่าครับถามได้เลยครับอธิบายไอ้คําว่าโมโนเลเยอร์ใหม่ได้มั้ยครับคือผมอ
uh, the cell will attach. Here, here is the cell. The cell will attach to the surface of the fast. This is cells. Okay, this is cells. มันแอชแชทูเดอะเซอร์เฟสออฟเดอะฟาสแล้วก็อันนี้ก็จะเป็นมีเดียที่มันคอเวอร์อยู่เงี้ยนะครับสมมติว่าอันนี้เนาะโอเคเนี่ยก็คืออ่าวิสิตไดอะแกรมเนาะก็คืออันนี้คือคือคืออ่าคอนเทนเนอร์นะครับคอนเทนเนอร์เนี่ยถ้าเรามองมองแบบมองผ่านเข้าไปอย่างนี้เนาะมองผ่านเข้าไปอันนี้คือคอนเทนเนอร์อันนี้คือเซลล์เนี่ยข้างหนึ่งของเซลล์เนี่ยมันจะติดกับเซอร์เฟสตรงนี้เขาเรียกว่า attached to the fast หรือ mono layer ข้างหนึ่งเนี่ยมันจะ expose to the media นะครับเพราะฉะนั้นเวลาที่เราส่องกล้องลงไปเนี่ยเวลาเราส่องกล้องกล้องเนี่ยเราส่องกล้องซูมลงไปจากข้างบนนะครับกล้องเนี่ยเวลาเราส่องกล้องเนี่ยเราจะส่องกล้องซูมลงไปจากข้างบนลงข้างล่างองไหมเวลาที่เราส่องกล้องเนาะเราส่องกล้องซูมไปจากข้างบนลงข้างล่างอย่างเงี้ยเราจะเห็นว่าเซลล์เนี่ยมันจะแผ่อยู่อย่างเงี้ยครับข้างล่างของเซลล์เนี่ยมันจะติดกับฟาสส่วนข้างบนเนี่ยมันจะ e x p o s e กับมีเดียฉะนั้นเวลาเราเห็นอย่างเงี้ยเราจะเรียกมันว่าเป็น m o n o l a y e r cells ก็คือข้างหนึ่งเกาะอยู่กับฟาสข้างหนึ่งเนี่ย e x p o s e กับมีเดียแล้วมันก็เรียงเป็นแบบชั้นเดียวชั้นเดียวไม่ได้ซ้อนทับกันเนี่ยครับเราเรียก m o n o l a y e r เข้าใจแล้วครับโอเคครับคำถามเพิ่มไหมครับถามได้นะครับภาษาอังกฤษก็ได้ให้ภาษาไทยก็ได้ I can explain both and so if we don't have questions um, I have a post quiz um, would not be score but the quiz that you can uh, take and you can measure the how uh, understanding of uh, of this subject โอเคนะก็คืออาจารย์มีโพสต์คิดให้ลองเทสนะครับก็ถ้าลองเทสลองดูว่าว่าเข้าใจที่อาจารย์สอนไหมแล้วก็มันจะจะได้อีเวเรตตัวเองว่าโอเคเข้าใจหรือว่าตรงไหนที่ที่เรายัางติดนะครับก็อาจารย์โพสต์พวกเอกสารประกอบการสอนไปแล้วก็ลองอ่านดูได้แล้วก็หรือถ้ายังสงสัยอยู่อีเมลมาก็ได้นะครับอีเมลมาได้เลยเออหรือแล้วก็โพสต์คิดเนี่ยสามารถที่จะเดี๋ยวอาจารย์ทิ้งไว้ในอาจารย์จะเอาไว้ในแชทบ็อกซ์นะครับลองเข้าไปลองพิมพ์แล้วก็ลองตอบดูได้นะครับจะได้รู้ว่าเข้าใจไหมเนาะถ้าทำได้ก็น่าจะพอทำข้อสอบได้นะครับข้อสอบจะเป็น multiple choice นะของหัวข้อนี้นะครับ 5% ก็คือ1เกรดเพราะฉะนั้นก็ก็เยอะอยู่ก็ลองลองดูนะครับแต่ไม่ยากนะมีคำถามเพิ่มไหมครับลองทำดูได้นะอาจารย์เอ็นเคเลชให้ทำนะครับ <coughs> จะได้อีเวอร์เอทด้วยนะครับอาจารย์จะเปิดไว้ให้ทำอาจารย์เปิดให้ทำถึงตอนไหนคะหรือว่าถ้าต้องเสร็จตอนนี้เลยคะ่ะอ่าอาจารย์จะเปิดให้ทำไอจริงๆก็กะว่าจะให้พอสอนของของเซกเอ่อเซกเซกไทยนะครับเสร็จด้วยก็จริงๆลองทำวันนี้ดูก่อนได้นะครับหลังจากนี้ลองทบทวนแล้วลองลองคิดเล่นๆดูมันไม่ยากมันเป็นแบบเอ่อ true false นะครับลองทำดูทดสอบความเข้าใจนะครับถ้าถ้าเข้าใจตรงนี้ก็คิดว่าน่าจะทำข้อสอบได้ก็คืออาจารย์จะเปิดไว้ประมาณถึงสิ้นสุดของวันนี้แล้วกันเนาะพรุ่งนี้อาจารย์ก็จะปิดนะครับลองทดสอบเล่นๆดูนะครับเอ่อให้ให้เซฟถ่ายรูปไว้ได้ไหมหรือว่ายังไงพ่อพี่อดิตอาจารย์เอาใส่ไว้ในแชทบอกแล้วมีอะไรไหมเมื่อกี้จิราพัฒเห็นว่าเห็นจะเปิดไหมเรียบร้อยแล้วค่ะอาจารย์โอเคครับลองทําดูนะครับเนาะถามได้ถ้าตอนนี้ถ้าตอนนี้ถ้ามีเวลาว่างก็ทําได้เลยนะครับโอเคมีเรียนต่อไหมเนี่ยอาจารย์กินเวลาขอโทษทีมาเจ็ดนาทีเลยขอปิดเซสชั่นโอเคครับขอปิดเซสชันนี้นะครับเดี๋ยวจะไม่ทันเนาะเดี๋ยวจะไปเรียนต่อไม่ทันโอเคขอบคุณนะครับขอบคุณค่ะสวัสดีค่ะ